In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix incompatible resource pack for Minecraft. Now, there's multiple reasons why this could be happening. And the first thing that I recommend that you guys try to do is change the pack file itself. And trust me, guys, it is much easier than you may expect. So first off, you want to go ahead and make sure you turn off the texture pack right over here. Then go ahead and press on open pack folder just like so. Then please go ahead and locate the texture pack that is giving you this issue. For this video, we're going to be working with this texture pack over here and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on it and we are basically going to be opening it up. You could do it with the default Windows software, but I'm currently using Rinrar, which is a free application that you guys could use as well. So you don't necessarily need to have Rinrar, but if you want to make the process just slightly easier, then getting Rinrar is definitely something that you guys should consider. But anyways, guys, what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and find the file called pack.mcmeta. So here it is. Once you went ahead and located it, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open it up with a text editor. So for this video, we're just going to be using Notepad. Then you're going to get something that looks like this. And you'll notice that we're going to get this line that says pack format and then a number. Now, depending on your Minecraft version, you need to put the correct number. And to find the correct number, just look up Minecraft wiki pack format. Then go over here to where it says pack format, just like so. Then you just want to go ahead and scroll down till this section over here and you want to find your Minecraft version. So for this video, we're working with Minecraft 1.21.8 and then over here towards the left, it is going to give you the pack format number. So in our instance, it is 64. So that means we need to go over to our notepad and make sure that where it says pack format, that the number 64 is actually there. Then you want to go ahead and press on file, then go ahead and press on save. Once you're done with that, feel free to go ahead and just press on yes over here, close out of it close out of this folder, close out of your web browser, then close out of the resource packs folder. And then as you're able to tell, whenever we go ahead and try to activate our texture pack, it is now 100% working. So that is definitely a way that you could do it as well. And if you guys have been finding this video useful so far, consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're easily able to make a Minecraft server for you and all of your friends. The best part about Simple Game Hosting is that it is a 24-7 server where you can customize every single aspect. You can make a crossplay, Bedrock only, Java only, you can add dozens of plugins, mods, and mod packs with the click of a single button. And 24-7 live customer support to help you out. And at the moment, they're currently doing a site-wide sale where everybody gets 25% off their very first month of Minecraft server hosting. So guys, if you ever wanted to host a Minecraft server, now is the perfect time. And you can go ahead and go to the link in the description down below and and in the pinned comment to check it out. Now, another thing that you guys could do to potentially fix this issue is change your Minecraft version. So typically, whenever you get the incompatible pack error, it is gonna let you know whether the pack is made for an older version of Minecraft or for a newer version of Minecraft. And basically, you wanna change your Minecraft version. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. What you would need to do is you would need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would, then just wait for it to load in and you just want to go to the top menu and press over here where it says installations, then press on new installation, then where it says version, you guys can go ahead and scroll down until you find the Minecraft version that does work with your resource pack. So you just want to go ahead and take a look at that as well, because that does play a major factor. And also you want to disable other resource packs. So multiple active resource packs can conflict with each other. So just make sure that you're only using one texture pack at a time. You really don't want to use like 10 texture packs at the same time because that is going to cause errors. And also you want to look out for mod conflicts. So if you're using mods like Optifine, Sodium, make sure that they're compatible with the resource pack because some packs require specific mods or shaders. So you want to check the packs documentation for requirements. But if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.